I did it. Super secret ending. What is in me is dark. And I, I transients or something. No light, but rather darkness visible. My gear? But that is not me. What is in me is not me. Yeah, buddy. Come on. I get the feeling when he, like, puts his hands out to Rosa. Oh, hi, it's Bumbleberry, by the way. <laughs> Um, so anyway, last time I showed you some of the traumatizing endings of Cupid. And now, I'm hoping that when he realizes the error of his ways, Guillaume will suddenly be like, Rosa, I believe in you. And Rosa will be like, oh, Dad, I'm so glad. And then they will run off into the sunset. What, I can't say anything? Rosa wiped her tears. He was right. She was alone now. Mother had left her. Whether for good or for ill, she wasn't sure. This was her choice, wasn't it? The thought of being alone out in the world scared her. Where would she go? How would she even begin? But here was somebody who would stay with her. A new beginning. It was almost too good to be true. She stared at his outstretched hand. Almost at once she understood what he meant. Love. Have you heard the rumor about love? And just to make sure, I just want to make sure so he's offering just to like take her away on this like journey with him. All right. So anyway, have you heard the rumor about love? It is never pure. Never pure. That's an achievement. He only wanted her for his benefit. That was fine. It was mutual. Who's to say this wasn't love, no matter how twisted? Two broken people existing together, edges cutting the skin as they grew close. It sounded pathetic, desperate, foolish. But what was it really? The world was less lonely, less empty. That alone was worth everything. The sea of des despair engulfs unwanted jettison hearts. We struggle with the weight of our existence tied to our ankles without anything to cling on to. Oh geez, we're getting heavy. We're getting heavy. Love is the mask of the beast called need. Sick, man. Gem smiled as Rosa sighed into submission. He pulled her into a hug, and Rosa let his warmth fill the gaps of her lonely, confused heart. He terrified her. He was hideous. She shone a light his true face and saw the monster hiding behind the shadows. Yet in her fear, she was also helplessly captivated. His arms were comforting. His heartbeat soothed her own. It thumped in time with hers. She could still change him, right? She stared into his eyes. He wouldn't- oh, he would be lost without her. Wasn't she the only one who could help him? Then she had to try. A tiny voice screamed its protest. For how long? I'm sure this is the first time she's heard her own tiny voice as opposed to mom in her ear like, What are you thinking, you hideous child? To what ends? What is my bargain? But then Guillaume kissed her. Oh, God. Ugh. Ugh. I feel like vomiting now. Now that I know everything. The doubt stopped, muffled by the blood rush as their lips touched. That is unpleasant, my dear. Instantly, a sweet taste exploded in her mouth. Oh, so long had she craved that taste. It was toxic. Being <laughs> right, it's toxic. You are fairly certain that you are related to this man. Although, in this, I don't think that she's opened his locket. So, the sweetest poison. Rosa pulled away in fear. Guillaume, I don't want to feed. I will not feed from other people. Then don't. Guillaume pushed a strand of hair away from her face. I won't force you. But to survive, you have to learn to feed from me. What? Oh, because mom's gone. No. One step at a time. What if I hurt you? He grinned. I have a lot of love to give. Ew, this is so gross. <laughs> Rosa averted her face. Please stop hurting people, Guillaume. It was not an opinion anymore, but a request. What? Please? Please? That's what you have to say? And he's just pondering it. Rosa looked up at him. You managed to make a more appealing offer after all. All right, I shall do it. Really? What? What? What is in this for him? As long as you are with me, I will do whatever you wish. I need time to get used to it, however. Don't worry. Now that I have you, I won't have to feed to the point that the person is set to try. Oh my gosh, go away. 
I will only take what I need. Does that console you? Rosa closed her eye and sighed. Do you promise? Do you promise not to take more than what's needed? Of course. Anything for you, Rosa. He grinned at her easily. A nervous pang of doubt chewed in her stomach once again. Oh, don't go with him. Rosa, you don't know how much I appreciate you. I have been alone for so long, but now I know where I belong. I belong with you. He said this honestly. Well, in some ways. His face emanated genuine bliss like that of an innocent child. <laughs> sure. He caressed her cheek. To know that she was the cause of this happiness struck her with ecstasy. The doubts were swept under the covers along with the voiceless things and secrets. At that moment, she knew she would believe anything he said. As do I. Yeah. You're just replacing one abusive parent with another, you realize. I have always. Guillaume pushed her against the wall into a deeper kiss. Oh, their bodies moving closer. Squick, 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 squick. His hand slid down her waist, made the hairs on her neck stand up. <laughs> For those of you who don't want to know all of this, they're waltzing in a sexy way, I guess. And they're eating on each other. And it, I guess it feels good. <laughs> Kim pulled back both of their breasts labored and heavy. Blood dashed to his face. His ears were hot. His lower lip trembled. Ooh, and his heart is racing. And he wants her more than anything ever. You are exquisite. His warm breath was on her ear. Thank you for existing. The candle lost the last of its light, plunging into the oh, plunging the room into darkness. The two figures in the shadows entwined and melted into each other like wax. Ugh, dark fairy tale? Is that seriously the secret ending? Secret end bliss? That cannot be bliss. That is so twisted and yucky. Oh, I hope they're both barren just for the sake of not having like even more messed up cupids out in the universe. I have unlocked the secret end. Good for me. Dedication. <laughs> I try. I unlocked all the endings. Huzzah. So we gave Rosa her freedom. We left Guillaume's locket closed and as well as our hearts because our minds cannot handle everything. Uh, you believe Rosa is in love with Guillaume. You told Rosa that her family is more important. <laughs> it's definitely the most important thing now. Um, I read more of Guillaume's journal. I took his key. I didn't believe he could change. I admitted that killing him might not be the only answer. And yet I'm still only 90% complete. I don't know how you feel. I don't know how I feel. I just know uh, it's going to be some awkward holidays if they ever manage to open that locket. Like, why does he even still have it? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, please let me know if you have something else you'd like to see me play. And please do like and comment. It does make my day and it kind of, you know, just brings a little smile on my face as I hope these videos bring to yours. So thank you to the creator of this game for making it. Holy smokes, for a free game? Like all the expressions, all that stuff? Shenanigans. Um, and now I got the ending. Ha ha ha. So let me know how you feel down below. I hope you have a great day. Talk to you later. Stay sweet.